Welcome again. The May 2018 IBESS exam. It's just a matter of 34 days from today. On the 4th of May, Friday the 4th of May, you will have paper one. Paper one is one hour long and it involves a full case study, which means that as far as specific content preparation goes, there's nothing specific that you can prepare for this exam because the questions that you would be asked are going to be based upon a case study provided in the resource booklet. Now this resource booklet does not necessarily provide all of the answers to questions, although you can expect certain bits of data and bits of information to be extracted from the resource booklet. In many cases, questions will be answered by referring to the ESS guide for first exams in 2017 and beyond. Because it's within this guide, as I've said before in previous tips, that you get the content that you're supposed to study. And if you pay attention to this content, and if you use the guide in the way that I've recommended in my previous videos, then you would be well on the way to getting ready for this case study. For there's no way that you can predict what the case study is, but a good way to prepare is to study other cases. For example, to study about coral reefs, as one of my students did in this video, or to study about tropical rainforests, like I mentioned here in this video, which is also linked to a full TED Ed lesson. And then you have the weekend, and you return on the 7th of May, on the morning of the 7th of May, to take the all-important paper two. And paper two is divided into two sections. In section A, you're going to get some short answer questions, might be based on a pie chart, on a bar graph, on a table, or some kind of data that's provided to you and then you would be extracting that data once again and also you would be drawing on your knowledge of the ESS guide for first exams in 2017 and beyond to answer the questions. And then you come to the big section, section B, where you would have to answer two questions out of a choice of four and you should watch this video for some extra guidance on how to prepare for section B of the exam. Of course, over the years, I've provided you with many more tips about the holistic approach to ESS, the use of systems, diagrams, and finally, for this year, I would like to recommend one specific case study, for it's an excellent case to show how environmental systems and societies involves a holistic approach, for it involves not just the environment, but how the environment affects society and how society affects the environment. The lowest plateau in China and how it was degraded and then the environmental management plan that was put in place to allow it to recover. Good luck in this year's examination.